Okay, we, we're talking from 99 to about 03, 04. You're busy. Mm -hmm. you, 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 I understand that your album didn't come out, but mm -hmm. you're busy at this time. You're making right. music. You, you, you are getting checks. It's not like you are sitting in the corner. At what point did you feel, I'm doing my part, and unfortunately, the label is not living up to their obligation to me. Because mm -hmm. it sounds like, although your album didn't drop and you didn't have an official single, the mm -hmm. label kept you busy and kept you at least with money in your pocket. Mm. Okay, now let me give you this one. I think Bad Boy for Life came out in 2000, right? In 2000, yes. in 2000 I was in my house in Atlanta. And everybody was in Miami working at the Circle House. And Todd at the time was Faith's husband. Her husband. And he called me because I knew him. And he called me and said, Mark, why are you not here in California? I said, what? I mean, in Florida. I said, what's going on? He said, we all out here working on Puff's album. I said, nobody called me. He said, well, you need to get on the plane and come up here yourself. And I got on the plane and I went up there and I, I went and got in my own hotel. And I was um, riding in the cab, and then I saw Puff riding down the street in the Bentley. And the cab, I had the cab pull up to him, and then he told me to come to the studio. I went to the, I got in the cab, went to the studio, and when I got to the studio, everybody was there working. And he came out and said, Mark Curry, the reason why I didn't really have you out here is because I was thinking about dropping you from the label. So I was like, okay, that explains why nobody called me. That, that explains. So then... Um, he said, well, I'm going to give you a, a, a song. And if you can take this song and make it work, then we'll, we'll figure it out from there. So he gave me this song, Bad Boy for Life. I took that song and rode around Miami in somebody's car because I didn't even have nowhere to write in the studio. So the person, they was like, I'll ride you around, rode around, came back to the studio. The Bad Boy for Life song was a hit. They said, go down to this studio and record it. I went to another studio, recorded it. Then he had this track. Uh, he said, what you think about this one? I got on that track. But as far as I'm concerned, if I didn't take the initiative to get out of my bed and get and book my own self on a flight and book my own hotel room and carry myself out there, that none of that would have ever happened. That was just by me taking a step out there. It was nobody thought about like, you know, let's it's, it, the way it may sound is like, hey, you was an artist and you know, you was on the label and they was giving you checks and this. You know, I had to really fight for for, for my stance on that label. You know, I, it's like I had to always, you know, you had Loom, you had g Depp, Everybody was coming to be number one and coming out first. And I always had to sit back and wait and wait and wait. You know what I'm saying? And I might have been signed longer than a lot of the other artists. I was signed longer than Loom. I was signed longer than g Depp. And when they came on to the label, they were able to get their albums. Or I was still in the background waiting for this album. And it never happened. And that's when I always told them, I was like, yo, if we don't, if you don't feel like this music thing is going to work and I'm going to always, you know, if I'm not going to have this album, let's just, let's just cut this out and let's talk money. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, if we're not going to have an album and you're not going to fulfill your obligations that you signed me as, you know, for for artists or why you wanted me as an artist, let's just leave that alone. Let me walk and try to go make my life, you know, the career work with somewhere at another label. And maybe let's just talk money because it, it was a time when I was just real adamant about whatever the losses were, whatever it may have been that I had the good reason why I don't have no no whatever, no album. You know, let's look at when I didn't have an album, the things that you know, uh, me being the artist that it prevented me from doing like I wanted to be a better father. Not saying that the music had anything to do with how my fatherhood situation would go, but I definitely wanted to provide more. I wanted to be more of a provider than the provider that I was, you know. So it kind of like stopped my growth a little bit. But as far as me growing, I wasn't going to only grow by that. You know, I was going I was going to look at other avenues to make sure that I was staying on top. You know, I didn't put all my eggs in that one basket. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. 
If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.